is January 2021 and I'm just on my way to Gdańsk in northern Poland. I'm heading there because I applied for a one semester long Erasmus study program and at this point I'm sure it will be fun. But I also don't want to waste my time here. There is a lot of stereotypes about Erasmus and aside from the heavy partying and excessive drinking, people say that you usually have a lot of free time during that Erasmus semester. And this is exactly where I see an opportunity. Of course, we are talking about free time. It's already been two years since I left for an Erasmus study program in Poland. Time flies, unbelievable. And I think that's a pretty reasonable amount of time to make a short video about the experience I brought home from Erasmus. And again, it will be a lot about photography. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, let me use my favorite chat GPT to tell us what the Erasmus program is. Erasmus Plus is a European Union program that enables university students to study at universities in other EU countries. And it also provides students with the opportunity to study at a foreign institution for a semester or a full academic year, which is cool, but that's not everything. The Erasmus program aims to not only provide students with the opportunity to study abroad, but also to promote cultural understanding, language learning and personal development. Yeah, that's exactly the part that makes partying and drinking at Erasmus legit, but do you also see the personal development part? For me, Erasmus has been exceptional, especially in one way. To put it in perspective, I went to Erasmus during the COVID-19 pandemic and all the lessons were mediated via the internet, which means I also had even more free time because I didn't have to commute to the university campus and I simply had more free time overall. And I wanted to use that overall situation, especially to improve my photography skills. My photography journey was at the make it or break it point in the beginning of 2021. Although I had some photography clients, I shot some weddings, it was far from being a full-time job. And I am not sure if I felt comfortable enough to call myself a professional, even though I did, but I just wasn't at the point where I felt good enough. But since I left for Erasmus, the things were only about to get better. Sometimes it's good to relocate to a different part of the world, especially if you are stuck in one place for a long time, and that's where Erasmus helped me a lot. Being in a new place brought me so much energy to create and it was so inspiring. I started to take my camera for walks almost every day. I was taking photos of the city, of the neighborhood. I was taking pictures of sunrises and sunsets by the sea, landscapes, simply anything. I started learning new editing techniques, trying new things, taking more photos and Generally, I started getting better at photography. But the main thing is that during my photography experiments, I could fail over and over again and it didn't even matter at all. I was just taking pictures for fun and trying to get better. I could go to Erasmus just to study and go out with friends or I don't know, but I knew that there was an opportunity that could take me further from the long-term perspective and Looking back, I think I made the most out of it. At the same time, if you are going to Erasmus, it's totally okay if you take this lazier approach, if you just want to enjoy it. And also it's different at different universities. For example, I have some friends who were on Erasmus as well, but they only had a little free time. So that is also important to take into consideration. The approach I'm talking about is meant to be just an inspiration for you and you don't have to stick to it, of course. But if you want and if you can, why not to take that opportunity to get better in other things than just in your studies, right? In my case, it's been photography. In your case, it can be learning how to cook international meals, learning new languages, or maybe mastering new IT skills. It can really be anything. And it's just up to you and up to your possibilities. One important thing 
is that this message is not only about my Erasmus. I used Erasmus as an example, but I just wanted to emphasize that every life experience moves you somewhere and that our life is full of opportunities waiting for you. And it's only up to you how you stand up to them. And I think that that is the message I wanted to tell you. And that's all for today. If you find this video inspiring, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I still can't say all these uh, YouTube things uh, fluently, sorry for that. So, <laughs> so please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. And also let me know in the comments if you had the opportunity to go on Erasmus or a similar study program and tell me all about your experiences from those programs. I really want to know what it was like for you because it was a great experience for me. Before I say bye to you, let me just mention one last thing. I've recently written an article on my blog about Northern Poland, so if you plan to visit this magnificent part of this country, feel free to check it out and also let me know how you like it. And that's really all. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.